Divine Truth Frequently Asked Questions Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. Many of us who did not teach their children about God in Sunday school because we did not want the fear of God put into our children mm -hmm. feel terrible now as we realise that they may be in a bad soul condition because of this when they pass. Again, how can we make amends? I am now talking to my grandson about God when we see a butterfly, etc. Yep. But for my kids, I think it's too late as they don't believe. Yep. If you don't believe in God but live as a truly good person does, yep. sorry, as a good person, yep. does that make it easier when you pass? Well, there's a lot of things this woman is, is a woman, I, I know, um, that asks this question <laughs> and there's a lot of emotions she is avoiding here in this questioning. So let's take, let's slice this question up into three parts, shall we? So if you reread just the first part again. Yep. So many of us who did not teach their children about God in Sunday school because yep. we did not want the fear of God put into our children feel terrible now as we realise that they may be in a bad soul condition because of this. All right. Now, first thing we should state, none of your children can be in a bad soul condition or a worse soul condition if you didn't teach them about the fear of God. God is not a being to be feared. And it's great that you didn't teach them to fear God. Does that make sense? Yep. And they are never going to be in a worse condition if you, if you taught them to not fear God. Right? So, so it's very important to understand that the choice to teach the child that they didn't need to fear God was not a bad choice. Right? Yep. The choice to not teach them about God at all was the choice that wasn't good. Yep. All right? So we need, to, we need to properly associate what the choices were and then look at the underlying emotions. Now, why didn't this woman want to teach the child about God even though she didn't want to teach the child about a fear of God? Then there has to be mm. other emotions that she is not feeling about that caused her a desire to not teach about God at all. Does that make sense? Yep. Because she still could have chosen to teach about God even though she said, no, go to a Sunday school and I don't want you to learn about a fear inspiring God. Yep. And it's great that she chose to restrict her child from hearing about a fear God because that God doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. <laughs> so it's not a bad choice. The bad choice was why did she make the decision to not teach the children about a loving God? That's the question she needs to ask herself. Does it make sense? Yep. So let's look at the next part of the question. So... <clears throat> Um, how can we make amends? So she's now talking to her grandson about God when they see a butterfly, etc. Yeah. So she's asking how to make amends, right? So, so, so she's now speaking about her children. The thing she's concerned about is that because she chose to not teach her children about a loving God, right? Because of her anger with religion or because of her, her, her disagreement with the concept that God's a fear-based God, which is great, like, or because of her anger with religion, that's not so great. She chose to not teach about God at all. Right? And there might be other reasons why she chose to not teach about God at all. As I said, she needs to look at that. How can she make amends? She can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't... Re get rid of an action you've already taken in the past. Yep. It's done. Like, you need to now feel about it, that you've done it, that, you, that you've done this actual damage. And the damage that she's done to her children in this regard is that her children now are atheists, basically. They don't believe there is such a thing as God. Right? That's part of the damage that she did. She needs to see it as an action she took and feel about it and repent for it and go through yep. the emotions as to why she chose to take that particular action. Once she does all of that, then her children may choose to find out about God. Does that make sense? Yep. They're not going to choose to find out about God while she retains those emotions inside of her soul. So even though her intellectual concept has now changed and she now believes there is a God herself and she now believes intellectually that there is a loving God, there must still be within her emotions that cause her to not feel that. Yep. She must still feel that there isn't a loving God. She must still feel that maybe even God doesn't exist still inside yep. of her soul. Otherwise, her children would be feeling naturally drawn 
into finding out about the changes that she is making. Does that make sense? Yep. Now, what she's concerned about is making amends. Well, I suggest to her that if she was really concerned about making amends, she would actually want to be repentant for her actions and that is going to mean feeling about all the results of her actions. That's yep. what repentance is. And she will need to want to do that if she really wanted to make amends. My feeling is she doesn't want to make that kind of amends. What she wants to do is take some kind of action that will help her avoid the emotions yeah. that yeah. caused her to make these choices and will help her avoid the emotion of guilt that she has of now make, seeing that she made the wrong choice. That's the reason why she wants to make amends. And that's not a pure desire to make amends. Mm. That's yeah. only a desire to avoid your own pain. And I see many parents doing this where all they really want to do when they're making amends is they just want to avoid their own pain of the consequences of what they undertook when, they, when their children were your little. Yeah. And, and we can't do that. What's done is done. We now need to, the only way that we can deal with it is to fully feel through the results of the choices we made. It's the only thing we can do. Now, the third part of the question revolves around her grandson. And in fact, she's trying to teach her grandson things about God. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, so she's now talking to her grandson about God yep. when they see a butterfly, etc. Yep. Um, but for my kids, I think it's too late as they don't believe. Firstly, it is never too late for anybody. Um, so we can't say it's ever too late that... that and, and in fact, if this woman shifted inside of her soul in her attitudes to God, she would find that her children would naturally feel drawn into shifting in the same way because their injury is not actually their own so much as hers. Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. So what she's trying to do is teach her children about God while still retaining the injury that caused her inside of herself not to, to teach the children yeah. about God. Now that is a you, you're going to be it's being an impossible task. The only way you're going to be able to teach your children about God is to first release the injury inside of yourself as to why you did not teach them about God. Yep. And that is going to be an emotional process that you need to go through, not an intellectual process of teaching them something different. Yep. Now the next question she asks is all about being worried about the full consequences of her choices. So let's ask that. Let's see yeah. what she's so asking now. If you don't believe in God but live as a truly good person, does that make it any easier when you pass? Okay. Yes, it does make it easier in the past, but the only reason why she wants to know that answer is because she doesn't want to feel that her children will have more pain because of the results of her teachings. Yep. Her children will have more pain because of the results of the teachings, even if they are loving and good people. The pain they're going to receive is not never having a relationship with God if she doesn't work through these particular emotions and if they themselves don't choose to have a relationship with God as a result of her teaching them or, la or lack of teaching of them. Yep. And she's avoiding that pain. She's avoiding the pain of that potential, the fact that the children may forego a relationship with God because of the choices she made. Now, I suggest to her is that if she's fully repentant for that, she will feel all of those pains instead of trying to mitigate them by mm. hoping that something will turn out differently and by trying to change some kind of action inside of herself. Yep. What she would do instead is she would need to go through full repentance of her choices. Once she does that, she will find her children will be drawn to ask about God. But while her emotion is retained within her that caused her to make a choice to not tell the children about God, and that emotion still resides within her even now, while it's there, it prevents them from asking anything about God. Mm -hmm. yep. And it prevents them from believing God because they can feel that inside of her is the same emotion that she had when they were children. If her emotions had changed, her children would feel a difference and then, of course, feel triggered into asking something about the reason or the cause of the change. Yep. Yep. So there is a lot of emotional avoidance going on here for this particular person with regard to what's going on for her children. She's feeling a lot of guilt, but she's not willing to feel the pain and suffering of, of her own creations. Yep. 
And that's a lack of repentance as a, as a parent and a lack of humility. So my suggestion to her is be more humble, be repentant, feel the co complete results of, you, of the choices you made when these children were children. Feel the results of it. Then you will see a change. You won't have to tell them anything different. Mm, yeah. You will feel a change from them that, because they will feel a change from you. Yeah. Yeah. This is another case of a parent trying to change the ch child before they're willing to change themselves. It's in, doesn't work. It's, it just doesn't work because it's hypocritical. It's a, it's, it, it lacks sincerity and it's certainly not loving. To try and change somebody else that you have forced into being as they are before you change the reasons inside of yourself as to why you force them to being as they are is a very hypocritical action yeah. and something that I feel while many people engage, many parents engage it, they need to give up this action and be far more humble if they truly want mm -hmm. to have a positive effect on their child. Yep. Yep. It's a good, good question. Because okay. as I said, just listing the question like that allows you to go through you know, yeah. all the reasons yep. and choices that a person is making. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And a lot of times these questions might seem the same. Yeah. The answers are oh, sometimes yeah. I guess different. they seem the same to me <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> 